Hello, I'm Larry Murphy, and I want to share with you how it is that at one time I was lost in sin. My soul was flat out owned by Satan simply because at one time I had enjoyed his sinful pleasures of sin. If I had died at that time, I would have, well, I would have split hell wide open. But thankfully, Satan messed up. And what he did is he let me get a glimpse on up ahead on the road that I was traveling. And I could see what was happening to people on down the road. And what I saw, I didn't like. In fact, it frightened me. Frightened me so that it put this sinner down on his knees praying to God in the name of Jesus Christ to save him. And Jesus saved me. Now, there are people today that say, well, Larry, all this uh, sin stuff and devil and, you know, it, it, this is all just old Bible stuff, outdated Bible stuff. Well, I can't prove to them that they're wrong by pointing to Satan and saying, well, no, right there he is, go there and touch him. No, we, we can't touch him, we can't see him because he is spiritual and therefore, you know, invisible to our eyes which see things that are physical. But that does not mean I am without resources. What I can do is the next best thing and that is what TV news crews do on the scene of a hurricane. Now, hurricanes are something that they can't point to and say, look over, 10 feet away, there, there's your hurricane. No, hurricanes are a wind. And you can't see wind because wind is just fast-moving air. Can't see air, can you? So what they have to do to prove to you, to illustrate, is they might see a tree that is bending over and they'll say, look at that tree out there. It's, it's leaning, and it's leaning way and way over the wind as it's bending uh, underneath its strength of this hurricane. And we go, oh, hurricane there. I see what the wind is doing to physical objects. And then they might uh, point out uh, its path of destruction as it is going through the community, the number of lost lives, uh, homes, businesses, churches, and schools. It's the same way with Satan. Now what I can do is I can find easily an individual that is under the influence of Satan. And we can know that by how it is that they are not walking the straight and narrow path in life as outlined in the Bible. But the way they are walking, they are bending. Bending. And in their case, it's not so much bending from the wind, but Satan's luring them over. They're being drawn over onto his side. They're being drawn downward. Now, this can be true not just in the life of one person, but a family of two, three, four, a church of 50 or 100 or 1,000 or a nation of millions. And not only can we see that people in all these categories, even churches, are leaning, leaning on the devil's side because they want to fit in with this world. Uh, they want to prosper, and the devil offers you prosperity. And we can see all these different groups of people leaning, and we can see the path of destruction that is being left behind. There's not any of y'all that don't know of someone that has died directly as a result of sin. Sin killed them, nothing else. We know of families that have been flat out destroyed. Path of destruction went through that home. This is troubling. 
but it doesn't mean that we are without hope. Our hope is in Jesus Christ. The same one that saved me can save you as that lone individual or that family that is watching or that uh, church or that nation of a million. What we need to do is we need to approach God repentant. That is, apologizing to God for how it is that for too long we have been disobeying Him. And then accept Jesus, because it is in Jesus that we find God extended to us His forgiveness. And then inviting Jesus into our hearts by means of the Holy Spirit. And let him come in there and clean out the filth. The filth of your filthy desires. And the filth that is being left behind as he goes through your life. Leaving your life just a part of his path of destruction through this world. Salvation. It can be yours. If you want it.